yeah um i have mine on as well and um yeah this is episode i don't know of the podcast today i'm not it's, even gonna episode number of i've already lost i've already lost count and i've done like two or three videos. <laughs> yeah. and then like yeah we're both recording right now liam is basically um he's with me today and he's pretty much just going to be the new host i'm the new now. host for today exactly i'm interviewing ben <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's, it's different if we've pulled a 180 uh it's, it's me it's me now i'm in charge he's out my podcast my channel oh it's just you you become you now i just, just just mine you're just the other person <laughs> i'm so, always going to be the host so yeah i'm the host liam and then no, no. this this is ben my my guest I, I, i'm better than you i'm yeah. better than you all right you're better than us are you you're better than us <laughs> that's kind of an inside joke yeah inside joke because basically um I think I'm gonna bother going into yeah, that. Yeah, it's it's too complicated. It, and it's not <laughs> even close to the topic anyway. Yeah, topic music. Topic music. Oh, it music. talks about <laughs> takes talks about a game. Yeah. Literally nothing to do with music at all. Absolutely <laughs> nothing to do with music. We're about to do music for your leaving side, aren't we? I'm I I'm supposed to be doing music, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, but like, we were meant to pick our subjects, and I haven't picked them. Like, you I was told them I was yet? told I was supposed to pick them. And I haven't done that. Oh, I picked mine, but I didn't get my fourth. I fifth, was sixth, talking. Seventh, or eighth. I was talking to like, Quiver? like two teachers. <laughs> I was talking to my Quavener and Deirdre, and then they were like, mm-hmm. and then, um, oh, tomorrow I'm probably gonna talk to Roisin because she's she was telling me about um, doing the LCA, which is the other type of leave and cert thing. I uh, leave you so apply it. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. And then I want to just you know do stuff I want to because. I want to find a way to not be able to do French because I am not doing French. I actually like doing Irish because I know it, I understand it. I think French you can is... not do French. Uh, it depends on the college you want to go to. Because some colleges you don't need French for. Oh, I well, I'm probably going to go to a college I don't need French for. Or well, speaking of colleges, remember you went to like DCU if, like years ago. I went to the DCU for the CQII courses. They were like, what even was that again? Um, it was like, what was it? So there was a bunch of different courses, and they were short courses. They were short courses about um. Yeah, so I did one on robotics and one on um. One on robotics and what was the other one on? I think it was creative writing, was the other oh, one. Yeah. So like uh, creative writing, you just do creative writing, mm. I guess. Um, what else was there? Uh, the robotics one, you learned about different robots, DARPA, all that stuff. Oh, uh, yeah? Boston Dynamics. Uh, we learned about that, and we learned about. Uh, you remember this? MIT. Yeah, I just, I just have a good. You memory. were in like second class, right? Yeah. I was around that time because I went every Saturday or something like that. Yeah, and I went for like a week, just straight. In oh, the, the, the one I went to, it was it was every Saturday for eight weeks, and ah. um, I remember the class I was in, right? I remember some guy. I think his name was Liam, and he had kind of curly hair as well. Yeah. You do as well. I My still hair used remember, to be a lot straighter when it was young. I remember younger. one day you had you had like this old Nintendo DS, right? And you were playing Mario Kart with cheats. I don't know if it was you, you, but it was this guy who looked like you called Liam. I don't know his second name, <laughs> but I was so confused. You know, I'd never like you were driving. I keep saying you as if it's actually. I don't know, but well, it could have been me. We never know. I'll just say you, but yeah, you you kept driving over like the off road. You know, and it wasn't slowing you down, and you were like, Wah! you were going like 300 cc speed. <laughs> Drip and, king. And all of the, all of the, the opponents weren't driving except for one. Yeah. Like, only one other one was driving, and all the rest were just stopped at the start. I was like, how are you doing that? And then, every, every single time I was there, everyone kept talking about Club Penguin. I had no clue what they were talking about. Knew nothing about it. What's a Club Penguin? No, but like, Club Penguin apparently was so popular at the time, but that, this was years before I had internet. Like, years. Yeah. And... Like, I first got internet access in 2016, I think. It was around 2016 and I got internet access. Yeah, I only got my first phone when, and, like, started get properly going on the internet when I was... Well, when I was 12, I got my first phone, but I only started, like, uh, like using it when I was 14. Mm. So, like, I've only been on the internet properly for two years, maybe. Before that, it was, uh... Well, there was some video games, but not a lot. Yeah. Um, yeah. The first much. time I pretty much used the internet, um, most of the time I only u- literally only used YouTube on it. I didn't do anything else. And then I started to realize, oh, you can use this to play online as well. But then I had to get my Xbox Live and all set up, and then my uncle helped me with that. 
and then he, he was the first person I added on Xbox actually and then we got each other added and I was in my old room so I was on the phone to him and I was like is they decided to Xbox Live I was so happy that's when my name used to be oh my god I used to have a different gamer tag back then Mm, I've always, I've it's always, Golden Fox now, but it used to be Regental Player 7. I don't even know if that's a word. Yeah, mine used to be Anonymous 202. Um, back you had a different name? Yeah. I just remember it just being Bright Knight. I thought that's like when... And you, I got Bright Knight... Oh, when, that was your Xbox Live when you first... Yes, when I got Xbox, I got Bright Knight. And before that, uh, in like... I don't know, when I was maybe 12, mm -hmm. uh, when I got my Minecraft account, uh, oh, nice. I named it Bright Knight 44. Oh, nice one. Well, I had my Minecraft account before, but I never used it, so I renamed it to that. So... My Minecraft account's from 2011. 2011? Yeah, it's really old. I first... Literally, the, well, the first time I've ever played Minecraft was in 2014, but I actually got it the year after on the 360. I first played Pocket Edition, and it was a really old version of the game. It had, oh, like... Yes, I remember it, that. It didn't even have horses or ocelots in it. Yeah, um, that must be been ages it ago. It was... You know the update where at the end... No, not the end. Where the nether was just added. I do. It's like literally... No, I'm, I'm, I'm wrong, I'm wrong. When... No, it was the update when the end was just added to the game. After the nether. Oh yeah, so when the ender dragon was It was, was when the end added. was just new. It was yep. that update. So I don't know how old or new that was, but it was basically that update of it. And... Like... It was weird playing it because... I mean, obviously it was my first time playing Minecraft and I didn't understand it at all. And, I mean, it was very fun to play, but I did get bored of it very quickly. I thought the combat was boring, I didn't like it very much. But I did grow to like it over time, but Minecraft is a game I only play, you know, on and off. I don't just play it every day, it's just, some days I'll play it, some days I won't. But, I mostly only play with other people, because it's more fun that way. Mm. Uh -oh. Yeah, we're we're playing a game. Yeah, right yeah, yeah, we're playing so games right now. If I if I make if I make strange sounds, bear with me. But like, prior for the course. I were me before anyway. But when I was saying when I was in that DCU college years ago, um, I swear we were actually in the same class or something. I it, it would actually be mad to find out we actually you know were in the same class, and back then I was disappointed that my final result I got I got I got ninety eight percent and I was disappointed. Back then, I was a completionist, or what do you call that? Perfectionist. Perfectionist. I yeah. wanted to be, like, 100% in everything. And if I even if I was 99, I wouldn't be happy. I'm obviously not like that now, because I was, like... I'm, I'm used to um, facing Failure. defeat. What? Failure. Failure. That's beautiful, isn't it? No, but... I'm kind of, um... Used to just doing worse than things, and I, I figured, like... Getting a 70% now is incredible. Compared to getting a, like even a ninety nine percent back then, it was so sad, because like I I used to just, I used definitely used to be too much of an overachiever. I'd always just try too hard, and then I might fail, and then I'll you like I'll beat myself down for it. And I'm definitely not like that anymore because I remember when I was younger, in like first class, every Wednesday. It, this was in like my older primary school. I went to two different ones, and we used to go to the computer room every Wednesday, Hi. and. <laughs> yeah, we used to go to the computer room every Wednesday, and we did this weird math game thing. And cool I, math games? Uh, no, it was called no. We did a thing called Top Marks. Oh. I know something called Top Marks. Well, that was one thing we went on, but there was some weird game where you do these like sums in a in a certain amount of time or something, and you need to complete them. And I'd always get hundred percent. And I remember some people getting like even eighty nine or even ninety five. I'm like, oh, you're so bad. I was actually such an asshole back then. Like honestly. Back then. Back then. No man, uh, I mean, I'm def I, I definitely respect a lot of people a lot more now because now I know what it feels like to be the worst one. You know, now I know what it feels like to like be worse than other people. Before I was just I was genuinely really smart for my age back then, so I obviously didn't understand or I, I never struggled with saying hospital. Like a lot of people said hospital, and I'm like no, it's wrong. You say hospital, it's easy. You know, I didn't understand how people found it so difficult, and well. I mean, I still don't really see it, but, I mean, you know, I at least respect that now. I'm not just like, oh, man, you're so bad. Just just say the word properly. Like, I do I do understand that more because I definitely... Like carrots way out there. <laughs> I couldn't do anything. I definitely matured more over time, but 
Like that's the thing. I do need to learn that. Like if, if even there's people my age who are who do struggle to read things because like they might have maybe dyslexia or some reading like problems or issues. So I obviously obviously you know get that, but yeah, like. I've just never had an issue with that, like with reading or I can speed read like really fast. I can read that quickly. Yeah, so can I. I can read faster than I can say the words. Like if there's a text on the screen and I read it, I can't even. I feel like like, most people can read faster than they can uh, say. Because yeah. like when people are reading aloud. Yeah, it's like I can I can read fast like way faster than I can speak. So I'd be tripping over myself if I try to speak. I just have to read it in my head. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. I have another question now. How do we get so far off topic? <laughs> what was our original time? It was music, right? No, but that's what I like. That's the beauty of podcasts. That's one thing I want to say, too. Is oh, Why am I so bad at this game? <laughs> so, so, so many of them can go on for ages. And, like, you could be talking about literally one thing and then it branches out to five different subtopics. Like, that's just the beauty of it, honestly. Oh, my God! Look, look at that kill cam. <laughs> it's, it's pretty cool. I just got augs to the face. Yeah, I, I, oh wait, I'm using the, I'm using an aug as well. I've given up scoping in. But I'm using I'm using the the one that looks more like an aug. I I have that cool ACOG scope. You have a suppressor. They put they're both cool. But yeah, anyway, um, and I was talking about like DCU college and yeah, I got ninety eight percent, literally ninety eight percent. And I remember, because I remember when I asked my mother one day, I was like, oh, what did I get? I remember getting something really bad. I probably got like 48. No, 98. Like, bro, 98. Like, that has to be some, like, record or something. And then... We I got a record, but it's quite good. Yeah, like, come on, 98. You got 100% of one of your science tests last year, didn't you? Yeah, or maybe it was the year before. It was definitely, no, I feel like it was definitely third year. But it was before, like, the pandemic. Yeah, I feel like it was third year before the pandemic. Because, yeah, it, it definitely was. Yeah, yeah, I think it was third year, maybe. Mm. It was... Oh, man, I don't know. I do know, though, in second year, that's when we were in the same maths class, when we had Deirdre. And then in third year, uh, I was in a different room, and I was in a class with, with what's a Scott. But I definitely think my, my third year maths class was... It was definitely a bit better. I mean, the teacher had why I, I I definitely thought was like probably wasn't as you know um what's the word as how do you say it you know the advanced maybe yeah it was kind of more easier on it and like it was easier to understand basically and and I wasn't I didn't feel as pressured in third year as I did in second that? year although third year as a whole when it came to homework was disgusting the amount of projects I had to do. The amount of like just work and assignments and I was like oh my god and I was never getting anything done like third year was one of those years where I was more likely to not get something done than get it done you know let's say oh, I was know. given homework let's say I was given nine pieces of homework like over the course of the week I'd probably get like no not six four of them done probably maybe three like, like I was that bad at it it's not that you know I just deliberately didn't want to do it. It's either I forgot about one of them because there was that many things. Like there was that many. Like, like there was. It was so hard to keep track of them. Um. I've been dying to know the guy. Shush. And then. Oh, fuck's sake. But um, <laughs> it it was so hard to keep track of them, and there were some things that I was just like, why? Like I'm gonna literally waste my whole day doing this. It, although I could do something like, that's the thing, because uh. I myself meditate like every night, literally every night, and have been for a year and a bit. And it's like that takes time. Like I, I, I need to, you know. Well, I usually do it now when I'm going to sleep, or maybe an hour before. Like I usually do that and then go to sleep. It's kind of just one after the other. Yeah, yeah. And then like I go into my bed bef like an hour or whatever before I go to bed, and then. When I wrote that we were doing uh, the topic of music, I thought we were doing like music we liked. I didn't think we were going this far. Not about. I mean, before we do go on music, I guess, um, when I was talking about uh, DCU, um, that was such a weird time. I remember, like, still, there were, like, two teachers, and I still remember this one man, and he was, like, really tall, and he had, like, he had, like, red curly hair, and he had glasses, and he had a really loud voice. I, I don't know why. I remember him having a really loud voice for some reason, but that was good, because then I always knew what he was saying. 